I'm writing a new video today. Let me tell my glasses always a glare. Um, I got you know another video for you today, and I want to show you again. I've, I've, over the years, I've shown how much uh, danger you get when it comes to different uh, Bible translations. Now, I'm only talking about uh, translations in English, but I've, I've heard from other people that know Spanish and things like that that say there's also corrupt text and even in the Spanish language too. But today's only talking about the English language. Now, of course. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to it. They're like, oh, it doesn't change doctrine. <clears throat> well, I'm going to prove to you right now. Not only does it change doctrine, going from one, um, one uh, text of uh, translation to the other can actually be the difference of he from heaven to hell. So let's get right into it. Today we're only going to talk about 1 Corinthians chapter 15, one, verses 1-4. One As we know, is the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 is the gospel. I'm going to give it to you out of the true text, the King James Bible. King James Bible says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preach unto you, which you also received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory of what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. Now, this saves you. It says you are saved. Now, stand, clear in verse 1, stand means faith. In verse 3, it says, For I delivered unto you first of all, which I also received, how Christ died for your sins, according to the Scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again on the third day, according to the Scriptures. Now, Paul's telling you what you are to believe in for salvation. And I always have it up here, how. H-O-W, how. It's showing you in the King James Bible only. It's showing you what you believe in for salvation. It says, it says uh, verse 3 again, for I deliver unto you first of all, which I also excuse me. For I deliver unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to scriptures. It says, by which you were also saved in verse two, if you have kept in memory of what I preach unto you, unless you believe in vain, unless you believe in something you did. It says where you stand. So it's talking about you. It's by faith. And I'll show you some more verses real quick to prove this. And uh, those are people that watch my videos often. We'll know this. Look at Romans 3.25, one of the most greatest verses in the Bible. Romans 3.25, and who God had set forth, forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. Faith in the blood. Because that's how Christ died for your sins. That's how he did it. He spilled his blood. Romans 5.1, 5, 5, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. By faith, we are justified. Justified means it's just as if you didn't do it. I mean, the blood washes those sins away from your soul. Uh, Romans 5, uh, 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Wrath, be saved from hell. If you trust in the blood for your salvation. And in uh, Romans 5 and verse 11. And now, and not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. How did you receive the atonement? Well, through faith in his blood is what it's saying. It's through faith in the blood. There's many verses talking about that. It even says in Revelation 1.5, says that there's people in heaven that have been saved by uh, being washed in the blood of Christ. Let's actually look at that real quick. It's pretty amazing. Even Revelation. Let's see here. Revelation 1 5 says, see. 1 5 says, it says that unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. So the blood doesn't work unless you have faith in it. You trust in anything else other than the blood atonement Jesus spilled and he died and rose again in 30. You trust in anything else, you're going to hell. Now, that being said, you just heard the true text, the true word of God, the King James Bible. And in Re um, Excuse me, in 1 Corinthians 15, it says in verse 3, For I delivered unto you, first of all, which I also received, how that Christ did. That's what you, you, you believe in, you trust in how he did it. How did he do it? He spilled his blood. Now, if we look here, let's just grab one randomly. Here's the Christian Standard Bible. And if you look in the Christian Standard Bible, what does it say? 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It says, let's see, let's scoot down to verse 3. It says, For I passed on to you as much as important as what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. There's no how. You just believe that Christ died for your sins. Is that all? No. You have to trust in how 
Christ died for your sins. Well, this one gets it wrong. Let's read it again here. It says, it says, For I pass unto you as most important that I received, I also received, that Christ died for your sins according to scriptures. That's verse 3. It didn't say how. And this is the CSB version. Okay. Let's look here at the, uh, I also have a Catholic Bible. I actually got this just for reference. I got a, a, all kind of different Bible versions. And I guess this was a study Bible with some Catholic. But if you look in here, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 says, I if I can find it. It says, verse 3, For I handed on to you as of first importance that what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. It's not how. This one also gets it wrong. So we got two down. Let's try another one. Here's the Living Bible. The Living Bible. The Living Bible. See what it says. In 1 Corinthians, we'll, we'll just skip right to, as I have been, skip right to uh, chapter 15, verse 3. It says, 1 Corinthians 15, 3, it says, I passed on to you right from the first what has been told to me, that Christ died for your sins, for our sins, just as the scriptures had said he would. He was buried and rose again the third day. It says again, it says, it says that Christ died for your sins. Well, he died for your sins. Yes, he did. But how did he do it is what the Bible says. Now, I got this really nice book. I got it real cheap on eBay not long ago, but it's so helpful. It's got four different Bible versions in it. And every page is he's got a different Bible version. It's really, really nice to have because I study a lot of different versions and stuff like that to try to help people to get them away from the false versions. Now, let's look in here in 1 Corinthians 15. Let's look right here. Of course, we know the King James, how Christ died, the true, the true gospel. The Amplified, I cannot stand the Amplified Bible. It just makes it more confusing. 15, we'll start in 3. It says, For I pass to you, first of all, what I also have received, that Christ, that Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One, died for our sins according to according with what the Scriptures foretold. Well, it didn't show, say how. That's the Amplified. Boy, the Amplified gets really confusing. Just, they just add words they don't need to. New American Standard. It says, For I delivered unto you, as of first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to Scripture. Didn't say how on that one either. I do believe that I read from the, if just in case I didn't, here's the NIV. I thought I might have read from it already. The NIV, for what I have received, I pass on to you as a first importance that Christ died for our sins according to Scripture, that he died. Okay, well, we're not doing too well here with other versions. Okay, let's just, let's throw one in just for fun. I've got a Jehovah's Witness Bible. The New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. The Jehovah's Witness Bible is basically a plagiarized NIV. It's a horrible translation. And it's something to even stay far away from these people because they didn't believe Jesus is God. They didn't believe he's... It's ridiculous. And I have many videos about the Jehovah's Witnesses. You just want to stay clear of them. Okay, the Jehovah's Witness Bible, New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. In verse 3 it says, For I handed unto you among the first things... That which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Again, not how. And that sounds very close. That sounds very close, almost word for word, with the Catholic Bible, what this one says. Very interesting. And we're going to throw one out at you. Just, just to be careful, we'll throw one out at you. I have the new King James. The new King James. Let's see what the new King James has to say. The new King James says this. Where are we at? Oh, look how small the print is. It's terrible. Good thing I got my glasses on. That's 2 Corinthians. Here we go. The 1 Corinthians 15, 3. It says, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to Scripture. Even the New King James gets it wrong. And I don't like the New, King's trans New King James translation. I think it's also corrupt. But even that one, when I go through 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I went through nine Bible translations, and they all got it wrong. And the only Bible you need to have is the King James. King James Bible, in my opinion, is so easy to understand. It's just straightforward, right to the point. And uh, I just want people to be careful, because that does change doctrine. 
It changes doctrine and it will actually keep you from getting saved because it's not telling you the full story. And people just have to be careful because these other translations, what else are they changing? But they could say, oh, this, this is a little bit better than that. And people talk about different uh, versions of the Bible and they just like it better. But does it change doctrine? Of course. It can change from heaven to hell for you if you have a different version. Please only use the King James Bible because we do see, and I've read chapter 3 of each. Look at your own Bible. See if the word how is in 1 Corinthians 15, 3, chapter verse 3. See if it's in there. It's not. Unless you go to King James Bible, it tells you the truth. Because the true text is, For I delivered unto you first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died according to the Scriptures. How. It's about how he died. It's about that faith in the blood. It's about that blood spilling upon the cross, making a blood sacrifice for your sins. Because you cannot be forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. Hebrews 9.22. God demands blood for sin. Because God hates sin that much. And look at the Old Testament law. They had to make blood testament. Uh, they had to make a, a sacrifice of animals, which God demanded if they sinned. And that's important. I mean, it's so it's important to have that blood spilled in the Old Testament and the New. But that blood's been spilled already, so you just trust in that blood, and that's what God says. That makes a blood sacrifice today. The faith in the blood Jesus spilled, because He's the Lamb of God that took away the sins of the world. I hope this helped you. You've got another Bible version. Throw it in the trash. But get yourself a King James if you don't have one already, because the King James is the true text will get you to heaven. And I will talk to you later.